Hey everybody, Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. As you can see, I've moved up to my studio space, so we have a bit of a different setup here. Um, and also, I'm introducing to you the Mary L Tarot. This is my personal deck that I've used for the longest, and lately she's really been wanting to speak more publicly. Um, so I honor her wish, and here we go. She's gonna bring forth your message here for mid-September. If you're new to my channel, I highly recommend checking out the September reading posted at the beginning of the month. All right, I'm sure that's going to connect to this in some way and be informative for y'all. So let's see what comes out. Two of discs. Magician. Wowza. Just give me a second here to take a look at this story. Got it. The two of discs in this deck, I absolutely adore. This card is so, so, so beautiful. There, the image I'm getting here, you know, clearly there is death energy present in this card. With the two coins over the eyes, sending the person into the underworld in a very um, ritualized way. But, you know, I'm speaking metaphorically here. The image I'm getting is someone sinking into the earth around them. Sinking back into the earth and, and the vines almost like you can see at the top of the head curling around and um, the, the vines becoming the veins. I'm seeing this as veins showing through the person's face. It's a period of rest for you that it seems to me is over. So if you have been in this sort of period of like meditation, rest, recovery, going within, merging with the earth, grounding yourself in this very, very deep way. Seems to me like that's coming to an end because the magician is here with an offer. Handing you the pure energetic potential that you are and that you need to harness in order to move into a space of action because now we have the Ace of Swords. And in this particular Ace of Swords, we have one of the most powerful animals the, the, in the sky, the bald eagle. The bald eagle, eagle can fly the highest of any other bird, eagles in general. And yet here's this eagle bound by something. Um, the word bedsheets is coming to me, so that could be um, particularly specific for someone. Bedsheets evokes a relationship to me, a, a romantic, intimate relationship, or maybe just sex, but um, that won't be for everyone. But there's this 
this bound energy and you can see here the eagle's talons are, are just like curling into this fist that feels like this raw potential like you're you're, you're gearing up you're gearing up to get out of this physical space and you're, you're ready to fly. You're ready to spread your wings and burst open and the magician inside of you or outside of you, however that resonates, is like emerging up out of the of the waters with the energy that you need to do this to bust open the full wingspan that you actually have and i think that when that happens it might look something like this <laughs> So with the tower, we've got a palace just burning. Some sort of home foundation. Mm, I just heard resting place. The resting place is now being ignited. There is this feeling that once this eagle is free, you, once this eagle is free to burst open and fly, it's like dropping, dropping the flame as you fly off. It's interesting too because um, this feels very much tied to the story that came through on the quarter moon in Sag. I think it's the first, you know, towards the first week of September. So here we have that Whatever this is, is it's a catalyst. And really, you know, at the most basic, it's you recognizing your own potential. And then finally receiving the tools, because the magician can be very much about the tools that you use out in the world. It's like maybe you finally get a tool that you need that you've been missing to bust out of this space. And it's not that this space has been bad, necessarily. I think it's actually been quite magical because this feels, this card like feels like merging with the forest, merging with the fairies, you know? Um, and there's, there's deep earth magic here. This is Taurus energy, big time. But there's also a sense of that earth magic can become so magical and so comfortable. Um, creature comforts that before you know it, it's actually more like this. And it's just not allowing you to fly and suddenly your wings want to fly in a way. And I think something shows up here to awaken you to the potential to give you the tool to be able to really use your potential to do that. And it's quite a tower moment. Tower moment meaning um, a shakeup. You know, as you can see in this card, something that has been built is a blaze. The lightning striking lighting everything up it's uranus energy it is it is absolutely some sort of a shake up for you aries so 
if this is resonating with you so far and you want to see where this goes, I'm going to continue to pull cards here in the extended. So um, in order to access the extended, all you have to do is become a member of um, my Patreon community. So you'll see the link below in the description box. Head on over there and um, for at the, at the lowest tier, if this is your sun sign, you'll be able to view the extended for this video. Um, so Aries, take care of yourself for the rest of September. It looks like there's potential energy here for some big changes, some big shakeups, and for you to really spread your wings to the fullest potential. Um, and that's very, very exciting, even if it comes with certain things needing to kind of burn down or certain things needing to be left in order for you to fly. Um, so if this is resonating with you, please do click that like button, subscribe to my channel, stay in touch with me. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, all the info for that is below as well. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care, Aries, and I'll talk to you soon.